So guys, today we'll be chatting with you about a brand new S. Baker collection from one of my most favorite indie brands that is based in England and is called Sarah Baker Perfumes. And it consists out of five new fragrances I'll be reviewing for you today with pleasure because I had an amazing live chat with Sarah Baker herself today on my Instagram. And if you don't follow me there yet, please do so in order to meet perfumers live and ask them questions and learn all the insights and get an idea of what is happening behind the scenes. So today Sarah has told me everything about these five fragrances and if you want to find out more about them please keep on watching this video but also don't forget to comment below if you have any experience with Sarah Baker perfumes that I mention on my channel a lot because I love them and if you need more information where you can find them and my reviews on the previous fragrances from her line please check out the description box for that and on that note let's get started <music> So guys, first things first, who is Sarah Baker? Well, she's an artist that was born in San Francisco, then she studied fine art there, she moved to London, she worked on different artistic projects, and then she started her perfume line, which is one of my most favorites to be honest because first of all she collaborates with different perfumers and I like that about it because sometimes brands always work with the same perfumer and since every perfumer has its own style creating perfumes some fragrances become more repetitive and that's not the case with Sarah Baker because there are so many fragrances in her line that all smell very differently yet you can tell there is a link between them so she's the creative director and she is telling stories with her perfumes and so today we are gonna talk about her new S. Baker collection that consists out of five perfumes and the main difference between this collection and the rest of the line is first of all well the visual part is different let's compare the bottles these are extra de parfums that i really enjoy for actually their bottles that are very luxurious bold huge amazing custom made and her logo is just the most positive one ever the new ones are rather simple and modern and a lot of people love them too so to be honest with you with this new collection she decided to go lighter concentration because these are extra de parfums that are super long lasting they stay on for several days on the clothes and this particular fragrance i'm holding in my hand is called atlant was actually nominated for Art and Fashion Awards. It smells very atmospheric of an ocean, so smelling it you'll be smelling sea breeze. And actually with it my stepbrother Edwin fell in love with uh, as the only fragrance smelling from my collection, so it's pretty amazing. But these new perfumes have lighter concentration, so she wanted to create perfumes in the cologne style, but as we all know, colognes, they are so lightly concentrated, they don't stay on for a long time, and that's not the case with this collection, which I really like, because first of all, it's more affordable than the rest, and I actually have a very special coupon code for you, with which you can save 20% off so that's pretty amazing that Sarah gave you, my subscribers, such a generous discount and where you can find her perfumes and the code is below in the description box, check it out. But I want to tell you that although these are lighter concentrated fragrances, they project so well. I feel like they are equally as long-lasting as her other perfumes, but at the same time they are more diffusive, which I really, really enjoy. Some are lighter than the others. So let's get started describing them. And the one I have in my hand right now is probably my most favorite one because I was introduced to it a couple of years ago and I fell in love with it at first sniff. And actually that mod was changed a couple of times as Sarah has told me today in our life 
live stream by the perfumer Ashley Eden Kassler, who, for example, created my favorite leopard right here. And this is actually an animalic, sexy leather perfume that definitely takes you on a journey. So she was very precise about this fragrance. She mastered it and they went through some issues manufacturing it. So there was a very long process bringing this fragrance to life and the end result is truly magnificent because smelling it, you will be smelling very sexy leather and also the prominent green note is there and you might know that I'm not the biggest fan of green notes in the perfumery. I'm very picky with them so for me to enjoy this one because it's so prominent in there is just a lot to tell you so I love it for everything but particularly for the ripe juicy note of peach so you can only imagine that it smells like if horses were running uh, on the grass uh, field and then suddenly stop underneath um, peach tree and uh, it was actually inspired by the princess Charlotte Cosiraggi who is a royalty because she's the princess uh, of uh, Monaco and she's a professional horse rider so that's very interesting that the princess is beautiful and she loves horses and this fragrance is animalic but extremely pretty and I can't get enough of it which I really love that addictive part of it and also the freshness you know the lightness and at the same time that power so Charlotte uh, Kosiraggi's grandmother was actually American actress Grace Kelly and equally as her beauty is uh, so is the beauty of uh, Bascule that is probably one of the prettiest fragrances I've ever experienced in my life and every time I wear it people ask me what I wear so I like that it has this like ability factor although it's so unique so with that being said I am very very satisfied with that release and another one that I fell in love with and also was introduced to a couple of years ago is Flame and Fortune and at this point I want to show you the actual box and with this collection Sarah went into um, the concept of sustainability because it has less waste than other you know fragrances it's simpler and at the same time it's very stylish for example today I asked her about this particular green tone and she wanted something desirable you know like Tiffany's signature blue color now she has her green tone and I really find it um, peaceful particularly in contrast with this bright kind of like um, orangey logo to which I matched my outfit uh, and my beautiful bow. But anyway, Flame and Fortune fragrance, uh, the nose behind which is Sarah Baker herself. So with it, she debuted and did it so beautifully. Actually, I knew that this fragrance will love my mom and of course she fell in love with it as she fell in love with the lace, which is every powder lover's dream beautiful creamy coconut in a bottle that she wears and loves she actually wanted to steal jungle jezebel but i didn't let her but i'm generous enough to give her the bottle of flame and fortune perfume that smells like white flowers on fire and i'm not kidding guys it has the smoky floral seed to it it doesn't smell like kate it just smells a little bit like fuel and beautiful white flowers. There is also spicy touch and dry fruits that you can smell in there. And if you like dramatic perfumes that are over the top, that are very opulent, I highly recommend you Flame and Fortune, which is becoming a bestseller and Sarah has low stock of it. And another cool thing, a part of my discount code, is that currently she has the special offering going on. If you are buying any full-size bottles, you'll be getting a very cute many of your choice so I know that she ran out of them so definitely get yourself something and then another mini for free so with that being said flame and fortune was a very long process for Sarah to develop she um, finalized the formula and adding that orange blossom made this fragrance bloom and uh, I really like how it smells if you like something 
in style of classic by Jean-Paul Gaultier, you know, spicy, provocative, floral bouquet. I highly recommend you Flame and Fortune if you're feeling adventurous and very sexy, that fragrance will definitely suit your mood. So on that note, let's move on to another favorite of mine that actually was the biggest surprise of the collection because I did not expect to love Symmetry the way I ended up loving it. And it was created by Chris Maurice. And this is the first fragrance he created for Sarah. And he is quite known for oriental perfumes. And this perfume Symmetry is sort of like a melting point at which Middle Eastern perfumery meets Western and of course in the center of this composition is beautiful material oud that in my personal opinion smells very luxurious and posh and it's one of those perfume notes that makes fragrance smell very rich and I personally really like this kind of oud that has a bit of a skankiness to it and uh, it is layered with cypress oil that I loved in the beginning uh, when I first started experiencing woody fragrances because it has this dirty sexiness to it and what makes it different from other woody perfumes is that it has green citrusy bubble around it and also musky um, pillow so you know it's very fresh, uh, green, um, light sort of oud that is already friendly. It's a friendly oud that you can wear on formal occasions. So if you're feeling extra and you want uh, to wear an oud perfume to work, you can definitely rock symmetry and it just smells very sexy and expensive. In my personal opinion, this is a safe blind buy because you can't go wrong with it. You can wear it to any occasion possible, day and night, winter and summer. I have it here and it's beautiful as you wear it, the sillage of it. You have a feeling you're wearing one of the most expensive fragrances out there. And keep on your mind, this is a more affordable line from Sarah Baker because of the lighter concentration plus my discount plus that special offering. Take advantage of all of that. And uh, on that note, we are moving on to something that smells very happy, light and ethereal and is called Far From The Matting Crowd, inspired by the movie with the same name that tells this love story. And it was composed by Miguel Matos, who created a true perfume masterpiece, in my opinion, Jungle Jezebel, that is pleasure and challenge all at once in a bottle. And actually, what I've learned today from Sarah is that she glues these eyelashes on the bottles herself. But if um, this is too much for you, you can actually get this fragrance in the bottle... Uh, like this with the orange top but i wanted to tell you that far from the matting crowd is very different from jungle jezebel because it smells like you're having picnic with your lover being very very happy it smells like you're in love so it opens up with this very lively, bright and vivid scent of bergamot, which is citrusy note that is not too harsh, it's not too citrusy and sour, it's very beautiful. And the fragrance changes very quickly, which I really like about it, that it never stays the same and it has um, different twists. So the juicy part of black currant really comes through after a couple of minutes and it turns very juicy and if you know black currant berries they have sort of like polished um, texture if you touch them they are very smooth and in my opinion in here they are rather powdery so they have fuzzy texture like peach for example and i guess that is because of heliotrop that is in there and that material smells powdery almost cosmetic and so when you smell it like this you get the green part and the citrusy part and the juicy tartness, but as you do this, you get the powdery aftertaste, which I'm really into because I'm the biggest fan of powdery fragrances and to make green perfume powdery is very unexpected. So I love that about it. But another cool fact is that it has very special material of eucalyptus that is sharp, it has almost like a bitter background and uh, the overall 
finish of this perfume is rather musty but at the same time ethereal and powdery so i mean like it's quite mind-blowing very enjoyable happy fragrance for men and women that you can wear anywhere probably the lightest from the collection and also the safest blind buy in my personal opinion and to finish this video, I want with another perfume that was created by Sarah, I mean like composed by her, and it is called G Clef. And uh, creating it, Sarah had her dad on her mind because he loves to go to these um, jazz festivals in California. And this is a very easygoing perfume that is probably my personal least favorite one only because it's created in the fougere style i'm not the biggest fan of and what i love about this one is that it smells extremely modern lavender in there is a main player that creates this atmospheric herbaceous atmosphere but also it's quite salty and airy so it smells like if you had cocktail somewhere sitting in an open cafe drinking you know citrusy grapefruit drinks and just breathing in beautiful salty air that comes from the ocean. Now there is also coumarin in there of course that is an essential part of fougeres and at some point it's prominent you get that beautiful vanillic touch but uh, the salty air really um, dominates this composition and it's something that i think a lot of people will enjoy i personally would love to smell it on someone else than wearing it myself but then again that's just me in my personal opinion it's unisex leaning masculine and definitely created to wear on casual warm days and on that note guys that completed my overview on brand new as baker collection and if i needed to rate these five perfumes Probably my number one would be Bascul. I get an image of beautiful horse uh, standing underneath a peach tree on green grass, smelling it, and it is just phenomenal, not to scary animalic fragrance. Second place would go to Flame and Fortune. When smelling it, I picture white flowers on fire and that's just a very you know dramatic picture third place would go to symmetry because i gotta be honest with you this is a pretty damn phenomenal very expensive smelling oud perfume and i find it should be in the collection of every person just because if you want to smell very posh you really want to make an impression that you're wearing perfume that uh, costed you a fortune i highly recommend you this very harmonious fragrance that creates a luxurious Feel. And fourth place goes to Far From The Matting Crowd, that um, is one of the best green perfumes I've ever experienced, uh, that creates very happy mood, like you're having a picnic with your affair, drinking, you know, maybe a black currant juice and um, just, you know, like kissing on um, a sunny meadow while still getting something exciting to hear from the forest next to you so yeah it's it's a very atmospheric fragrance for sure and also very easygoing in my opinion safest blind buy from the collection and so is g Clef that is on the um last place for me personally but that's because it's a fougere uh, other than that Maybe I will even wear it sometimes when I'm in the mood for fougere. That doesn't happen very often. But I find, you know, this picture of relaxed um, day off by the ocean, California, listening to jazz music, drinking some grapefruit cocktails is just a very you know, carefree experience. And that was all for today's video. I highly recommend you to support business of Sarah Baker and to give you an example of her cool artistic projects. She has this book written for Versace. Yes, exactly, Versace. And it's a cool story. And all these pictures are truly fabulous and luxurious because I mean, like they were wearing Versace and uh, that's like pure luxury here. So yeah, definitely check out the website to learn more about Sarah, her perfumes. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram, you know, 
to get more insights and please follow me there as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel because I know that 60% of my viewers are not subscribed yet and if you would, it would really help my channel because I love to inform you about very interesting artistic perfumes and Sarah Baker's fragrances are like that and also very enjoyable and likable. So definitely thumbs up this video if you liked it. Please ring that bell in order to be notified about my new videos and your comments matter a lot because that way YouTube knows that my content is interesting and it will be suggested to other people, which I definitely need. So thank you so much for watching this video and please stay tuned for the future ones. Smell good and we'll see each other soon. Bye guys! Oh, I wanted to add, guys, that in my opinion, Sarah's choice of the perfumers and perfumes she releases really shows that she has an amazing taste. And so I would like her continue working with different perfumers, and I would be very happy if her next release would be a gourmand one. So what do you guys think? Have you ever smelled anything from Sarah Baker? If not, and you're not uh, sure which one to go for, just get a discovery set and discover these absolutely absolutely fabulous fragrances. By the way, did you know that she worked on a soundtrack for this book, Baroness? Let's listen to it now to wrap this video up nicely. I just want to love. Stuff all over me, drip it on me, pour it on me, spray me with your love.